Hello everybody, welcome back to the next episode of City Skylines with me, Biffa. Today we're going to be looking around our city and finding some traffic hotspots. Uh, we're going to be using mods like Traffic Manager, Node Controller, Intersection Marking Tool. That's really what I fancy doing today. And we're really going to try and tweak what we've got in our city to utter perfection. You can, well, you know, when I say utter perfection, I mean as close as we can get. You know, let's, let's be honest. Let's be honest, nobody's perfect. But we're going to really do our best and uh, some of these hints and tips i'm sure you can use in your cities as well with these simple mods so before we dive into all of that let's take a look at a couple of statistics that maybe we can compare again at the end our traffic at the moment is at 76 percent so we'll keep that in mind look at our population down here 57,000 57,400 odd which is interesting uh, this area here which will probably be affected quite a bit by some of our changes has got 22,307 don't worry I'll mention these figures again at the end um, so we know exactly what we're comparing to and then our transit uses um, there we go this figure here 2,316 per week and 620 tourists a week so yeah we're going to try and improve all of those so let's have a look around let's start over here first of all i want to have a look at this junction now we've put this in place we've left it open because we are going to eventually spread up this way but i've just noticed a couple of little things here that we can sort out which you may have spotted yourself first of all we're going to get our node controller and we're going to increase the smoothness of this area here. So trucks coming around the corner there. I mean, they're barely slowing down, but we're going to help them out even more. I'm going to get that up to 24. Seems to be a good sort of spot. I'm going to do the other ones as well. Is that 24, 23, 24. I'm going to do the ones this end. Two sets. These sort of things, smoothing out your corners. Yeah, really helps people to keep moving at the same speed. 24. There we go. That's good. I'll look at this one separately because we've already done some work on that one. And this one is just a turnaround spot at the end. So, uh, do you know what I'm going to do, actually? That turnaround spot on the end doesn't seem to have enough road on it. There we go. <laughs> we'll just make it a four-lane road. And then we've got already dedicated turning lanes coming off there, which is good. These coming on here do seem to be merging a bit all over the place. So, what I'm going to do, we've got four lanes. We've only got three lanes here. So a little bit of lane mathematics. We're going to upgrade a couple of segments. Uh, I'm also going to move this node down a little bit, just so it's not so close to that one. There we go. So there's a node there, a node here, and a node there. A little bit of space. Spread it out. I don't want people changing lane in there. What I'd like them to do is to... Four lanes. You go there. Bish, bash, and bosh. Bish, bash, bosh. And we need something else for the fourth one. Hmm, I don't know. Uh, so they've all got a dedicated lane to go into, stick in their dedicated lanes, and then they merge on this node here. That goes from four down to three. So that should be okay. And I've got plenty of space to do it. And if we come over this side, that one's already been set up. So four lanes. There we go. Uh, I'm just going to move this node just down there a bit. There we go. And then they'll merge in that little three lane section there. Good. Yeah, that's okay. That's all all right. And we've got lane mathematics. So we've got four lanes, two splitting off, two down here, and then these two split off into one each. Nice. Okay, so that'll just help them move around a little bit better on there. Thinking ahead as we increase our traffic in our city, that is just going to get worse. Um, if we don't do something about it now, which is what I'm uh, doing. So this one up here comes out, and we've got three lanes going into... Yeah, look. And you see the way he cut right across there, and they're stopping? Yeah, we want to stop that. We want to stop them stopping. So we're going to upgrade that to four. Again, I'm going to do two. I'm going to say no lane switch in there. And this one here, I'm going to say you go there. Control S, this option down the bottom here. So they all stick in their own lane. And now if we watch it, look how smooth that is now. They're all smooth, 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 smooth. And then when they get down here, where it goes from four to three, it's funny because they don't tend to cut across more than one lane when they merge from a four to a three. When they come onto a road like this, as you saw that uh, tractor or whatever it was, it came from this lane and went right away over there. But you won't find that on here. You won't find a car coming down the outside lane suddenly deciding to go all the way up here. 
I mean, they, they will drive under car, <laughs> under trucks. Did you see that? He must be practicing for a new James Bond movie. But yeah, they, they won't go more than one lane. So that, that tends to work out okay. So that's good. Uh, going off here, we could have some dedicated turning lanes. Actually, what we're going to do is a bit of lane mathematics. Three lanes, one going off. So this is going to go down to two along here. Which actually means this is probably only going to end up going down to two. Should have checked the lane mathematics first, Biffa. Biffa, spelt with an F. There we go. So this one here, again, we've got one plus two into three. Well, let's do the node first. So 24 just seems to be an arbitrary number that I've made up that seems to be quite good. Move it mod. We'll just shiftify that along a bit. You can see where the nodes are because the green line ends at the node. I've just got snapping on just to keep it nice and straight. And then we'll do a bit of Hugo there. Control S, Hugo there. And then coming the other way, what have we got? We've got two lanes going off, two lanes going on. Yeah, so we've counted this one lane coming off, and they can decide which of these two they want to take. Because then, it, yeah, that's why it's two, because it splits off there. So that's fine. But this bit here could be downgraded to two lanes. So we may as well do that. It just helps the game AI keep things running better and then yeah that's why i should have checked that first of all because now i don't need this to be four lanes so i'll put that back down to three put back in my hugo there there we go and we're sorted yeah always check your lane mathematics first uh going the other way as well so down here yeah so here we've got three lanes splitting off into one and one and this middle one does two things uh, because we do have the traffic manager mods and we have the option selected which i don't know what it's called traffic ai something like that they are using the different lanes if this was vanilla they'd all come up the middle lane probably and i'm just wondering if we follow that around so that's one goes into those and that one goes into those see this one here should technically be two coming out of here but now I've just downgraded that to three. We're going to leave it. There's not many... Oh, look at that. Look at that. See, ideally, I just don't want that happening at all. Where does that lane come from? Well, that lane comes from under here, which is over here. Oh, that's that one I put in, isn't it? Yeah, look at that. Do you know where that lane should go? That lane should come and just merge up here somewhere. But there's not many coming up there. I'm just going to leave that and walk away. Okay, and then this one here is another... Oh, this is my other lane coming from the uh, festival area. And again, there's not enough lanes to support that. Well, in this case, as it's nice and quick and simple, I will upgrade that to four. I will do a bit of Hugo there. Control S. So they've got a lane each now. And then they can merge again when it gets down here. So, yeah, that'll be fine. Let's follow this along. So we've got one going off, but I kept this at three because this is only a... Uh, a little small one going off here. Let's just line that up. There we go. Do you know what? I'm just going to do... Oh, no. i tell you what. We'll leave it like it is. Control Z, undo on the move it mod. We'll use the no control. I forget about that. We'll just make this node a bit bigger. Again, let's try 24. There we go. Just want that turn off there to be a little bit smoother. Is anybody coming off? Here we go. Yeah, they didn't visibly slow down. Yeah, I've left this as three. This is like the main highway. Whereas over here, within a junction or an intersection, whatever you want to call this, I will do the lane mathematics. When I've just got a road going off like this, but the highway continues on through, I don't bother downgrading all of this to two lanes. I'll just leave that as it is. Because when we get over here actually into an intersection, that's when you want your lane mathematics uh, kicking in. And we know this is all okay because we've worked on that junction. And... Um, yeah, apart from there, we've missed some uh, Hugo there. Let's do that. There we go. You've got a lane each. That'll be better. Let's just check the one at this side. Haven't done that one either. Hugo there. There we go. Whoa, mama. He's like, no, I'm not adhering to your Hugo there. I'm going to go straight across the middle of the... Yeah, they're doing it okay now. So, nice and smooth. Nice and smooth. That is what we want to see. Let me have a quick sip of tea. Hmm. Which reminds me, I need to turn my autosave back on again because I was doing some time lapses. OK, 
Okay, sorted. That is good. Okay, so let's have a look then. So that's the main sort of highway, I think. Yeah, we did that bit there. Coming along here, this has all been done. This has been done, although I'm not sure. No. Let's just set up the, here you go there, lane connections. There we go. Excellent. This has got a dedicated lane for off. That's fine. And then we move along here. Yeah, need to do a little something here. So I've done the lane mathematics. I've gone the three lanes down to two. We're counting this as one lane off, but I haven't done dedicated turning lanes. Control left click, dedicated turning lanes, uh, node controller. Let's whack that up to 24. 25, 24, there we go. We're gonna do this side as well uh, to 24. 22, 23, 24. And I bet they haven't got any, no, there we go. Here you go there through there. Uh, this one is two lanes coming into one lane. It's not that busy. So if later on that becomes a problem, I will come back and fix it, but as it stands, you know, you have these rules. What is that guy doing? Don't do flipping turning around on the middle of the highway like that. Are you a complete numbskull? We have these rules, but you know, you can use your brain to decide when you want to change them. Why are they stopping? All right, let's do Hugo there, Hugo. Whoa, what have we got going on here? Oh, okay, let's do this first. Control left click, no, let's take that out first, delete. Control left click. So we should have one going off and two going on. That's the way I like it. Uh-huh. Oh, I see. It's doing that. Now that's weird. Okay, I'll just manually do this then. Maybe because I've done the node controller first. It's not it's like I got a little bit confused. Oh, I'll tell you why. It's I don't even need to do this on here, do I? It's just two lanes straight on and one off. It's the one this end, isn't it? Yeah, there we go. So that's fine. Uh, the other direction, that's just got a turnaround spot that end. This one here we've already done. Let's just double check that. No, we haven't really missed that one. Here you go there, that's fine. And here as well. Mm, let's just have a look under here what nodes we've got. I'll just press the move it mod. Yeah, we've got one node in the middle. Yeah, I'm not going to bother there because I've only got one node to change. And some are going to not want to get stuck in that lane to go straight off again. So, again, as it's not too busy, we'll leave that as it is. And then it just heads out the city down there. So, that's fine. Uh, this way, we've done all of this. I know for a fact that doesn't go anywhere. This big road coming down here. Let's have a look. Now, things like this. We could speed this up a bit. And we could also do a bit of... Yeah, you see on the end here, we've got dedicated lanes coming in. And this one coming out here, we've got the asymmetric. Why is there an asymmetric facing that way? Okay, well, we can just pick this road and turn the end segment round. So let's pick that. There we go. So they'll sort of change in the middle. We'll do it a little bit further down. <laughs> Guy's like, no, change the mind. Yeah, we'll have the two lanes a little bit longer going up here. Now we've got dedicated turn lanes going in every direction. I don't think this is set to give way. It is set to give way. Okay, I was incorrect in my assumption. And then I'm going to pick that, and I'm going to... Would 24 be too much on here? 25, 24. Again, that looks okay. And it just means I've got to slow down a little bit less as they're coming around the corner. I'm going to... Whoa. I've certainly gone to work on this one, haven't I, with my intersection marking tool. <laughs> Let's spread that out a bit. 24 and I feel like in here some of this never gets ridden over driven over this little bit here could I fill that in with a filler uh, hold alt let's find my keys on my keyboard so if I go from there to there to there to there and to there I can that feels like that's got to be a bit of a filler. And, um, yeah, let's leave it like that. And then some of my lines, they need to have like hard lines around the outside of those, which is going to be a bit of a bummer. Because, for instance, oh, I don't know, actually, that one could change to a solid. Yeah. Uh, let's have a look. I want this one next. So here's a good tip. I've already put the line in. 
but now I want to change half of it to a dotted uh, dotted line. So I can pick the from point is highlighting the green. The to point, I can change that to here. Uh, yeah, that's as far as it goes. And I can change that to solid. And then I can add a rule in going from there to there and just have that as dotted again like it was before. Which looks fine to me. Apply template. Normal dash. No. Apply template. New template. Oh, we'll go with that. That's fine. Um, and then I've got to do the same on the other line going the other way. Oh, this one here I need to change. So I'm going to have from and to. So you can see the from is over here, the blue side this time. And to, I'm going to have to there. That's fine. I'm going to add a new rule in and say now from here to here, that is going to be solid. And then another new rule from there to there is going to be dashed. So let's just put a solid line on there. And then I just need to find this other, there it is, that one there. So the from point, whoa, jumpy game, is that green one up there. You can see it highlights. The two, I want it to there. So that will always stay dashed. Add a rule. From here to here, this is the only other bit actually, isn't it? I want that to be solid. So there we go. Now we've got a solid line around that. And then what I'm probably going to do is just change that filler. Yellow grid. Now, yellow grids. A lot of people ask me about these. This would be not the place for a yellow grid because nobody's driving on there anyway. Um, I meant to take a picture the other day and stick it on my Twitter of these yellow grids around because people don't believe me when if they don't live in the UK that we have these. You might use this in a circumstance here where if this didn't have traffic lights and it was constantly moving traffic, or actually, no, change that. If you have traffic lights and it's not constantly moving traffic, uh, what you would do is you'd put that grid in the middle, this yellow grid, and it would mean that anybody coming down here, when the traffic lights allowed them to go, if they couldn't enter the yellow box, which we're imagining is in the middle, if they couldn't enter that and leave, they're not allowed to enter it. So they have to make sure the way out is clear. And it just stops people crossing over traffic, for instance, and just stopping in the middle because it's all queued up. And then the lights change, and these people try and go, and they can't get across. So that's basically how they're used. This would be the wrong place to use it because nobody's actually driving on there. So, oh no, grief. I don't want it like that. I want... Uh, I mean, you could do that just so it looks nice. You could do it solid grey. I'm going to do chevron. No, I'm going to do stripes. And then I'm just going to just turn around a bit and uh, offset from lines. Let me have a fiddle around with these for a sec. There we go, just something like that. Good, that's it. We'll leave that while we're moving on from there. So hopefully that's going to help them move along a little bit quicker. And then again, at the other end of the road, very tight turn. I'm not too worried about the fact we haven't got dedicated turning lanes. It's a very small little area, this one. So I don't even think 24 looked too big. Do you know what, actually? That's okay. It's giving it a little bit more space. Room to breathe, as we might say. Okay, so we don't get lost. We've gone down the highway. We've come down this road. We know that's okay. That doesn't go anywhere. That doesn't go anywhere. And then we've headed down here. So let's continue. This roundabout's already been done. So that's okay. I might just head up to this other end of the road here, as this is going to be quite busy, as it's, as it's a cut-through road from one side to the other. So control left click dedicated turning lanes then node controller i like this because look it doesn't like mess up with any of the houses i mean the one on the corner might start to get a bit close oh there we go look we've managed to get to 24 and we've still got room for the building there yeah no problem excellent okay so let's head back down this fast road here so we've got a connection here 
We've already got the dedicated turning lanes. I'm sneakily suspicious that, yeah, we haven't done any of that. So let's pop that in, 24. And we follow it all the way up to the end. We're going to hit another junction, which we've already done some work on. I don't think we've corner smoothed this. And that's what I like about the intersection, mark, intersection marking tool. Is you can do the no control afterwards and it won't mess with your... Uh, that just looks a little bit... I moved that and it made the, the arrows disappear. Which is slightly annoying. Have I not got snapping up? I have. Let's just turn off that i just want to do move it mods yeah there we go just move that out a little bit just and i'm also gonna let's get the no controller back so hold control where is the no controller it's like not showing up oh there it is right i don't want to do that i want to just select this node here i thought it was hold oh there we go hold alt beg your pardon Oh, there we go. I've got it now. No controller. Hold Alt. Select this section. Turn off flat junction. There we go. Then we'll do it that side. Turn off flat junction. And that side. Turn off flat junction. And that looks much better. Look, much smoother. It rises up there rather than being a weird sort of dip. Yeah, I like that a lot. Um, so that was that road there. Just looking at this junction here. This seems quite busy, this junction now. Got a weird bike lane that they just drive in front of the traffic. <laughs> I look back now. Oh, the biffer of many years ago. Oh, I've already smoothed this out. Of many episodes back, I should say, where it was all brand new, all this intersection marking tool malarkey, and you just used it everywhere. Oh, simple times, simple times. Let's follow this road up here. Again, we could have, look, missed out on the dedicated turning lanes. Control left click. Again, we can do... Let's see if the control N works. No, it doesn't work all the time. So if you hover over here, it says node controller. Should Well, it should be control N, I thought it was. But anyway, 23, 24. There we go. A bit of extra space. Uh, yeah, you've got traffic lights on there. Let's do that here. 22, 23, 24. We've already got dedicated turning lanes. I'm just thinking here, actually, we could do the do this as well. Flat junction, turn that off. Do this side, turn it off. Do that side, turn it off. Made a negligible amount of difference <laughs> to the junction. There we go. You can see it changed a bit there. There we go. That's better. So it keeps the whole thing in line with the roads you've put in rather than all these roads coming in at various heights and angles and whatever. But the junction, it's always flat. Doesn't matter what you put into it. But that actually looks much more realistic. So, yeah, that's good. All right, let's follow this road down. So we've got some crossings and things. Have we got... Yeah, do you know what we should have here? Which I like on the node controller. If we get that, get that one there. And it says crossing. If we turn the lights on... There we go. That, to me, seems like a much more realistic crossing on somewhere like this. So people are all waiting at the sides, and then the lights will change. Let's look at this way. There we go. Lights go red. They go green for the cross. There we go. So something like that is going to maybe make more traffic. But because it's a rolling sort of time traffic light thing, it should be fine because barely any cars kicked in there. Was there another one down here? No, that's just... oh. Something for that dedicated turning lane. We did it and it's disappeared. Let's do that again. Control left click. There we go. Hmm, weird. Um, yeah, so in my mind that should be that should be better. Here we go. Look, that was one of the first ones I put in, was it? I know the grid isn't perfect, it needs yellow lines around it, but yeah. Even though in the game cars will absolutely pay no attention at all to the yellow grid <laughs> because they just don't know it's there. Um, it's just a visual thing. But yeah, none of these cars should be entering this grid and then stopping behind other cars because if they don't get out, it would cause all sorts of traffic problems. But yeah, that's fine. Um, let's follow this around here and then we're into this area that we've already done some work on. I'm just going to extend... Well, I'm going to change that road there. Oh, what's happened to my traffic manager? I'm going to change this road here. See this little one here? We've got asymmetrical. Two lanes for going that way because it goes two lanes splitting off into the uh, toll booth but coming down is only one lane 
So we're not grade that to this two lane each way. There we go. So now we can have dedicated turning lanes. Oh man, if you're doing Biffa Bingo, you're going to be racking up the points. All I've got to do now is place a thousand... Uh, uh, 23, 24. All I've got to do is place a thousand locks and you'll have the most points you've ever had. There we go. A little bit more space. Good, good, good. And we can also do the same. Yeah, I'm going to take this road here and turn it around. There we go. Dedicated turning lanes that way. Down there. This bit in the middle here. Sometimes we'll, we'll do that little flip around thing. And other times it won't. And I've had people tell me it's because there's different asymmetrical roads. Let's just have a quick... Oh my goodness me, if I could spell. Uh, it's one S, isn't it? A, C, met, two M's, metrical. There we go. So we've got this one here. Three lane asymmetrical, one plus two. So if I upgrade that, and then upgrade this. Yeah, that's like the one I've just used. We've got this one here, which is one plus two. What's this one? One plus two, yeah. So if I upgrade that. Yeah, it's the same. Didn't make any difference. I'm probably missing something. I've just earned myself a thousand angry comments. Oh, there's another one here. Look. Oh, that's put a cross in there because it's two different rows. There we go. That's what I'm looking for. So one one of these is the one that comes with the game. The other one, one of these, is the one that comes with network extensions too. So it just sort of gets a bit confused. I think that's what it is. But yeah, now we've got asymmetrical lanes for up here. Uh, this is like a fast ne uh, fast road coming down here, whatever it's called. Let's do the picker. This one here. National road is the word I'm looking for. Once we've got into this area with the junction, I don't need this one here to be a national road. So I'm going to take the small four-lane road because I know there's two turns at each end. There we go. And then I'm going to do this one here. Control left click, dedicated turning lanes. Control left click, dedicated turning lanes. And I may even... Whoa, what are they doing? Oh, no, that's fine. They're coming down and going round. Yeah, I may even just change this bit at the end here for a... Mm -mm -mm. Asymmetrical road. Well, let's use that one again that we had. Where was it? This one. Yes, yeah, so that's going to put a crossing in. What would this one do? Oh, that's just a bigger asymmetrical highway type road. Okay, and this one puts a crossing in as well. Okay, so we either or, doesn't really matter. And then we'll just get our node controller. Whack that up a bit. 24. And here, we don't want that. Because they can cross over here, to be honest. Um, and what am I going to do? Turn off. Crossing's already turned off as well. Good. And then last thing, control left click, dedicated turning lanes. Good. That's not too busy, so I'll just I'm happy to leave that like it is. And this bit up here. Yeah, do you know what? For this coming in and out so busy, I think this also should have that and that. Let's have it going that way. And this bit here down to the junction. That way round. Oh, that's one way, isn't it, this street? So that way they can come down, go up there. Yeah, I think that's that's going to work much better. And then we'll just grab that, whack that up. That's gonna, I mean, this is a really tight turnaround here, but tough. That's <laughs> just the way it is. Um... Yeah, and then, see, why has that got turning up here? That really doesn't need left-hand turn. Is it the one-way road coming in? That's very surprising that it's doing that. So what we're going to do is manually do them and do that. Oh, is it this? Look, there's a little tiny piece of road in there. Oh, auto save, quick sip of tea. I've accidentally left a tiny piece of road. So let's get that. No, wrong tool. Let's turn that off. Let's get our picker mod. Grab that. And just change this one. There we go. There we go. And all of these are coming off. And there's actually more coming up around that way. So what I'm going to do is make that give way and let these guys carry on. And then I'm going to grab this one and make this bigger. 
So now they can, look at that. Look at the difference. There, really tight right hand turn. Get it up to about 24 ish. Nice smooth turn, barely slowing down. Yes, I'm liking that. I am liking that a lot. I'm just wondering about this junction at the end. We could do the same there as well. 28, 26, 25, 24. Doesn't mess with the monorail, which is nice to see. Cool. Okay, so. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So where did we get? Down here. Yeah, that's that one with the yellow grid on that we did. Yeah, that's fine. So we followed all that through. So I'm basically just sort of looking at the main roads. And then as we come off this junction we did earlier, if you remember, uh, we come down here now. Yeah, they seem to be sort of swerving all over the place. We're going to do some Hugo there for that one. And then they can change lanes down here. We're going to do... Yeah, I don't know what... That's what I was talking about earlier with one lane doing too many different things. I'll leave it like that. I mean, they're going <laughs> to they're gonna dive all over the place, but yeah. It's going to mean two lanes merging into one, but I'm not changing it. I'm leaving it like it is. Live with it. Yeah, this, this big junction we've already worked on, so I'm not going to look at this. We know that's all okay. This big junction goes all the way through the middle here. Now, this is going to get used more as we expand over into this area. At the minute, we've got this massive big arterial road, I suppose you call it. We've got cycling, we've got six lanes each way. People think this is the death wish, cycling down here, but, you know, my citizens like to live on the edge. But if we just zoom out a minute. So, I want to ask you a question. So we've got like, the delta down here. We've got our industry and our new big area that we made over here that has been exploding the population of our city. What are we up to? 63,000, which is fantastic. So, we need a port. We are going to have a port at some point. Let's just angle this back a bit. So, let's just say this is north, up the top here with the mountains. So, where do you think a port should be? I will give you a couple of suggestions and we'll see what you, what you think. So, east over here, we've got this big bay. And west over here, we've got this big bay. We've got a couple of big bays here, haven't we? Now, one of these, or a couple of these, would be good for like a holiday destination sort of thing. And I reckon the other one would be good to turn into a port. So, do you think either... Let's number these. Starting down here. Number one. Number two. Number three. Or this area here, number four. What do you think? I'm not going to do it down the front. I want to keep this definitely with the Delta sort of thing and all of that as like holiday stuff. But so yeah, number one here on the left, number two, number three, or number four. Let me know in the comments which one of those do you think would be good for a port. And this one here, I mean, there's a lot of, this is number four. I mean, there's a lot of beachy stuff on here. We could repurpose this. I mean, wherever I do it, I'm destroying beaches, aren't I? So there's plenty of other beaches to go. Uh, go around <laughs> not to go and plenty to stay turn into nice beaches but this we could have some nice sticky out bits we could sort of have this as an enclosed sort of port do a bit of terraforming and and that sort of stuff and um, that was number four this is area number three i'd like to keep this one i think i like the little ruins there but these little enclosed sort of areas i can imagine coming here with the family enjoying the beach enjoying the sea that'd be quite nice and the port would be far enough away that it wouldn't sort of cause a problem. Yeah, so that's number three. There's a lovely beach along here as well by the mountains. Uh, and then number two, this is the area over this side. Again, this is, uh, this is nice. Not as special as number three over there. So maybe you'll choose that one. And this is number one. Quite plain and basic, this one. But we could, you know, build bits out. We could really make that into a cool looking port. What do you reckon? So, yeah, let me know. Can I zoom out a bit? There we go. So, number one, number two, number three, or number four. Let me know in the comments.
Okay, well, let's just take a look at a couple of final figures just quickly for those that like to compare things. Track it, tra track it, traffic from 76 to 80 percent. That is going really, really well. Population was 57,000. And some change is now 65,000, which is great. So the city's growing well. This area was 22,000 and some bits and pieces. It's now 26,000. So we've had some growth there. And finally, our mass transit uses was 2316 is now 2513, which is good. So that's natural. You know, the city's growing. More people are going to be using it, which is great. Um, a little decrease in our tourist uses of mass transit, but you know, not too worried about that. And after all of these things, and I've just ha had to add in some more electricity producing things and water producing and sewage dealing with stuff, we're still making money. Obviously, this is just, this just bounces up and down, but overall, we're back up to 6.3 million, which is absolutely fantastic. So I think those little tweaks and changes, and we still have growth potential. We are going to be hitting uh, definitely this target here within our next episode, getting airports unlocked and certainly working our way towards Megalopolopolis and 100,000 citizens. Yeah, this is excellent. So what do you reckon? Let me know in the comments below which area to choose out of these four for our port. Thank you for watching. Check out the next video on the screen as well. Why not? And uh, have a great weekend and I will see you all very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.